Good morning, everybody. You guys ready to go outside? Boy, you sure looks like how pretty you are. Look how pretty you are. I can't help it. I've got to talk sweet to my babies. I gotta talk sweet to all my babies. You ready to go? Look at ya. Hi, Hazel. Hi, everybody. You ready for that door to be open? You ready to go outside? Oh, I got a rooster that got loose somehow. Looky there. He's way, way up there. I do not know how he got up there. But he did somehow. And he's not liking it because I, I chicken proofed it, I thought. Look at him up there. On the wrong side of the... He's going to have some thinking to do to get out of that mess. <laughs> What's your problem, Rooster? I bet you up there pooping on everything. I don't know how he got up there, but however he did, he's going to have to figure it out himself because I can't get up there right now. I'm not going to either. Okay, everybody. That's what I told him. He's going to have to do it himself. Yes, he is. He's just going to have to do it himself. Okay, everybody, let's go. He's wanting to get out so bad. Maybe he'll remember how he got up there. I don't know. Let's go. You ready to go? All right. Open door. <laughs> is on. It's like the gold rush back in old days. Now they're going to, they sit back here just waiting to see what's going on. Are they going to find it? Oh, funny. God, I love watching them do this. Every morning, it's just, a, it's, it seems like it's the same thing. And every morning, I just laugh and I just love and I just watch them. And they're so cute. Always something, you know? It's always something. <laughs> so they're making that grass go way faster and faster and faster. I told my sister this morning we had a really long chat. I told her, you know, we... I, I don't really want to have to... Um, to burn this stuff, but I think I'm going to have to because there's too much, too much uh, fescue in there, not fescue, Bermuda grass in there. And that Bermuda grass, all it takes is a little tiny piece of it and it'll grow leggy like in two minutes. You'll have a whole bunch of Bermuda grass everywhere. So once I get them to where they uh, don't get to come in here anymore whenever I get my... Um, my early garden, it'll be this up, it'll be up here, it'll be the early garden. This early garden can't take it down the hill. It's it'll be too wet. But once I get the early garden in and I get them out of here I'll have, well, before I get the early garden in I'll have to have no choice but to um, burn this stuff here. Get rid of it. It's sad too because I'd really like to be able to use it for compost, but I just can't, not with Bermuda in it. So I got a, an email this morning saying that my seeds are going to be back, or going to be here on Monday, and I'm so excited. So that's happening. <laughs> that's Josephine. Poor little Josephine. Josephine's the one with a bald head. And uh, she's one of those Easter eggers. And... Uh, I don't know if you can see her head, see if I can get it over here so you can see her. She's quite uh, quite active. This is this is Josephine. Right here. Right here. If you can see her her head is bald. When she was just a baby, the other chicks, I mean she was just brand new. The other chicks ate all of her epidermis and all of her dermis right down to her skull. You could see the bone of her skull. And I wasn't really sure she was going to live through all of that. But she, so I put her in a, in a cage by herself. And I put um, some of that vet, vetricin 
on top of her head. I mean, daily. I, I put it on there several times a day. And she actually grew back skin on top of that. And I was so thrilled because I knew then she would live. But her hair follicles or her feather follicles were not intact. So she doesn't have any feathers up there. So I had a boss that was bald and so his name was Joe. <laughs> so I named her after him and her name's Josephine. Oh, you can't miss her. And she, I tell you what, she is just so active and she just, she was, she's like Pearl. I had one just like her, except for she had her feathers. Her name was Pearl and she got into everything. If, if she would get out and I'd be in the, in the garage and I'd hear something go bam, fall down. And it was always, it was always Pearl. She was always knocking something over, getting into something, getting out. She lived a long, good life, but she's gone now and I sure miss her. She made me laugh more than probably any of my chickens ever. <laughs> One of them unscratch or scratches, and and uh, you can see just a little tiny seed, and the other one comes up right behind it and sees the seed because it doesn't see it and eats it and runs. <laughs> and that way she don't get pecked in the head. Oh my goodness! My sister and I were talking this morning. Oh my gosh, for several hours. And we kept saying, well, we gotta go, we gotta go. But then we'd start talking about rabbits. And then we'd start talking about ducks. And then we'd start talking about chickens. And then we'd start talking about um, her her farm. And then we'd start talking about my farm. And then we'd start talking about gardening and, and how can we get the garden in and, and keep her chickens out or her, her one guinea she has out of it. And how can we do this and how can we do that? And you know, we solve our problems when we talk to each other <laughs> and it's just kind of like a you know I don't know it makes us happy starts our day off good and, and uh, we figure out what we got to do for the day just kind of fun kind of cool <sighs> Josephine again get off of my food it's mine I want it, I'm going to eat it, and you can't have it. Go away. <laughs> Wait, is that the one that was stuck? Let's see if he's unstuck. I went and checked, and yeah, he's the one that was stuck. And he's unstuck, so I guess that... Uh, yeah, you won, didn't you? You got out, and I didn't help you. So I guess you figured out how you got in there and got right back out. <laughs> I, you know, scratch is really important to them. They love that scratch. They love working for it, too. Are you the victor? You won? <laughs> Boy, they just give it heck, don't they? So this right over here, as I was telling you yesterday, it's probably going to end up being where I plant my herbs. And then right in here, there's going to be peas and green beans. And, and uh, against that fence is going to be probably um, cucumbers and... Um, things that are vines that I can that I can train to go up the the fence row, and then I've got more space down here. You couldn't really I didn't really do it to scale on my drawing yesterday, so I'm not real good at that scale thing. But um, these two, this one right here is might be beets. Is these two have to be something that is ground. Um, you call it um, <sighs> plants that make underground whatever they're called I'll think about it in a minute and say it but right now it's gone um, because this ground over here is really tight in the summer when it's hot and it nothing will grow underground so root crops that's what I'm saying root crops so this will be for root crops that'll be for root crops and I think that uh, over here where this 
this wall is. I'll go ahead and fence that little area in right there. And I think I'll put potatoes over there and sweet potatoes because I'm pretty sure that uh, that's 12 by 24. I'm pretty sure that I can get root crops to grow there because I have been putting a whole bunch of bedding out of my um, chicken area for years and I've not grown anything there yet. So I will probably put some of this five foot fence around that area right there to keep them out of it. And uh, that'll be my, not my, be not my greenhouse. <laughs> We're just supposed to be a greenhouse. It'll be not my greenhouse. But I wanna plant some turnips and I, those are usually in fall. I wanna plant some carrots. I wanna plant onions and a few things that are, um, They'll be there for a while. And uh, you see these. I wonder what he's eating. Looks like something jelly out there. What has he got? Is that a pumpkin? I put a pumpkin out there. It must be uh, frozen. That's one of my new roosters. He's um, beautiful. He's Sapphire Jim, and, and uh, you can see, very good. Let me pull it out like this. It makes them uh, get real grainy. But he's Sapphire Jim and Bard Rock mix. And he's starting to become a man, and there, looks so you can tell, he's out there pretty much by himself. So the other boys won't let him into the flock until he proves himself, and he has not proved himself yet. They're out there eating some more pumpkins, so I need to go cut up some pumpkins. I'm so lucky. I still have pumpkin from last fall. And I still give it to them every day. And their eggs are so rich and so orange and so thick. The, the yolks are so nice, so delicious. I bought a um, watermelon for him, and uh, I'm going to give that to him today or tomorrow. It's supposed to be warm here for a few days. Boy, they'll, they'll go to that. Boy, they just love watermelon. Tell him to get away. Go on. <laughs> she's a sapphire gem. She um, she looks like she's mixed, but she's not. That's they say, they just come out all different colors. There's Megan. Front. She makes makes a lot of noise. Let's go check on the bunnies. First, we got to check on the water trough. Look at them. Boy, they are enjoying that new clean water. Emptied out their old water and moved to their uh, water containers over here so that they'll have more sunshine during the day and the water will get warmer and thaw out quicker when it's cold at night. Got two of them right here side by side. Duck likes to get in there and well, Hazel likes to get in there and take baths. Here she comes, she's gonna, she might jump in, she might not. She kind of waits until they get finished drinking before she jumps in and takes her bath. I said a couple of days ago how they don't have much of a body underneath all those feathers and that's so real. I don't. I just can't imagine how big their eggs are compared to the size of their body. It's just kind of crazy because the egg will take up. I don't know, it looks like a third of their body. I had I had one die on me a few days ago. It was one of the old English um, variety breed, and I wanted to know what was wrong with her. And uh, she looked like she had a lash egg. Um, it's not a regular egg. It, it's um, 
I, I, it's it's like a, something that doesn't make into an egg and it just turns into whatever they have excess in their body and I think she had calcium excess and I think it, her egg calcified and just stayed right there and she couldn't lay it and so I am um, I'm not going to put calcium in their in their food anymore because I can't control it um, they want to some of them want to stay there and eat all of that and that's not good for them I can't put it to where it's really um, measured out so that they can get a little bit you know each individual one because some of them will sit stand there and just hog everything that that they like and whether it's good for them or not so I'm only going to give them oyster shell from now on I just can't I can't bear to lose them for something that I have done to them and I felt like that was kind of my fault I didn't think that it would hurt them until I saw that and it just crushed me so that won't be happening again aren't these beautiful they're so pretty okay now let's go check on the rabbits well here's two more roosters and these are the two that hazel um, hatched out and they still stay in here with with they think that he's her he, he's their daddy this is jesus and jesus is hazel's husband and they think that that's their daddy and they think that hazel's their mama they don't know any different i was talking to my sister about that this morning and she said she had some that did that and had a, a little banny that would um uh hatch out anything and um she had um ducks and stuff like the you know um guineas and all kinds of things that would be following the mama all everywhere <laughs> they sure do love the sunshine you can see even inside they're sitting here in the sunshine they love that sunshine so I was able to give the the rabbits a bigger bowl of water now because I don't have to worry about them getting drowned in a, in a large container so I gave them that container of water full last night and it's almost empty this morning look how big they're getting though look how big they are there's mama and then let's see where the, where the camera is let's do it this way let's see look at this look how big they are in comparison to her they were born on the 11th of december they're about a month old. Not quite. And they're that big already. Look at that one. That, I'm sure that's a boy. I'm pretty sure that's the one that gets out. He's a big one. Look at that. A month old. <laughs> they sure are precious. Hazel and Jesus love each other so much. If I put her in there with him, he would kill her. He needs six females in order to be able to uh, be happy. So if I don't have six females for him, he'll kill her or he'll kill chickens from wanting to mate. Look at him. Mom and her babies.
Jill looks like she's doing better too. Look at her. Just can't let her out because they just beat her up. Not till she gets perfectly healthy. You can tell she's not laying eggs by the color of her comb. The ones who are not laying eggs, oh wow, the ones who are not laying eggs, their combs, if you look at the color of her comb, and then you look at the color of her comb and see how pale it is, you can tell she's not laying eggs. You hear her talking. So, overnight, I have just noticed that yesterday, they're, I don't know, remember what they're called, cackles or something? Cackles? I think that's what it's called for the ducks. Yesterday, they were just real pale, and today, look how bright they are. Hmm. Weather's warming up right now. I wonder if they're colder and warmer sensitive. I wonder if she's getting ready to start wanting to lay an egg. That might be what that is. This right here isn't a good sign either. When they lay an egg right here in the floor, what that means is somebody's keeping that chicken off a nest for some reason. It doesn't have anywhere to go to lay an egg because it's not accepted as being a nest. That means I've got somebody that's being hateful to it. That bothers me. Looks like it's feeding time. Looks like they're about out of feed too. Looks like I need to get over there and get them some feed. You can sure hear those roosters, those baby roosters. It's Hazel's babies. Both of them are roosters. They don't sound like hens. They have more of a throaty sound. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video today. Um, Monday, I'll have my seeds, and I'll be excited about that. So, I will see you on the next one.